close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. You're going to be here continually. If you jump around a lot, you're not going to see very much. We live in a world where people are used to being distracted. And even if there's no computer screen or TV screen or cell phone screen or iPad screen to distract you, you can sit here and your mind distracts itself. It goes out after the birds, from the birds, and it starts thinking about other things. And you think you've learned a lot, but, but with a lot of stuff like this is just a lot of nothing, really. If you want to understand something, you want to watch it continually, watch it carefully. So stay here with the breath, because this way, as the mind is staying with the breath, you get to watch the mind and the breath at the same time. You begin to understand things about it you didn't understand before. You see things you didn't see before because you were jumping around. So try to keep your attention as continuous, like a line that you're drawing and you're not lifting the pen from the paper at all. It just keeps going and going and going. And if you've dropped the breath, we'll just come right back and then try to keep that next line going longer than the, the first one. And it's this way that your ordinary, everyday concentration begins to stretch, becomes more reliable, becomes more solid. And that way you start seeing things for yourself that before you only read about or only guessed about, or maybe saw bits and snatches up and you didn't see them whole. You didn't see the, the entire line connecting the cause to the effect. Because for the knowledge that, of the meditation to really go deep into the heart, you have to see these things directly. That yes, this action does cause suffering, that action helps to alleviate the suffering. When you can actually see that happening and see the connections, then the discernment goes straight to the heart. It's much more powerful than just reading about things or guessing about them. This is why. As John Lee says, if your knowledge is just based on perceptions, it's only the, the reflection of knowledge or the shadow of knowledge. The real thing has to come from actually seeing these things as they're happening in the mind, in the body, right here, right now. And that requires that your gaze be steady. So keep your gaze right here, right here, as continuously as you can, and you'll see a lot of things you didn't expect. This is the discernment that comes from developing good qualities in mind, which is much deeper than the discernment that comes from l listening and reading or thinking about things. You actually see the stress come and go, and you see the cause come and go at the same time. Or if it's not at the same time, you see them connected. It's seeing the connections that the discernment really opens things up and teaches you new things about your mind that you wouldn't have known otherwise.